Hey, it's Lucas. I'm the senior horticulturist here at Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. And uh, we're gonna do a little series called Flora and Fauna Friday. Now you've probably heard those terms, flora and fauna. What do they mean? It's a Latin term, flora meaning generally plants and fauna generally meaning animals. All right, so we're gonna highlight five different plants that you don't wanna miss when you come here to the journey to South America. First off, South America is covered with aeroids and it's plants that range from philodendrons to peace lilies to monstera. There's a whole bunch of genera and very common as houseplants because they do really well in low light. The one that I really love and is super popular is uh, it's called the Swiss cheese plant. Um, and why it's called that is because the leaves actually will put holes in them and the word is fenestrate, which means to create windows. So they do that, they grow along the base of the jungle floor and once they hit a tree they spread up and they put holes in the leaves so the leaves below them can get light. And that is the main thing that happens in the jungle, it's a fight for light. So every plant has its adaptation to survive in light and that's what aeroids do is they modify their leaves as they get taller and closer to the sun. We have a very large collection of begonias here. I think probably 40 different species. Now this is species types, not cultivated varieties. And the nominal species, meaning the one that was originally named begonia before anything else when they were classifying plants is called begonia obliqua. And we have a beautiful specimen of it. It has tiny little flowers smaller than most begonias, and they're self-fertile. So most people love vanilla, but not everybody understands where it comes from. It's actually the pod of an orchid vine. Not an orchid flower or plant, but it's a vine, and it grows in trails. And the South American variant is called vanilla pomona, or sometimes grandifolia. And we have a beautiful specimen here. And it's a trailing vine that's already almost 40 feet long. The next one is a philodendron squamiferum or lizard leaf philodendron. And you can see why, because it has the head and the four legs and the petiole, which is the stem part of the leaf, has a very unique adaptation that keeps bugs from crawling all the way up the stem. It almost looks furry. All right, now the last plant that we're gonna highlight is one of my favorites and I wish it was grown more, but it's in a genus called Camadorea. Now you've probably never heard that word, but I bet you've seen one of these plants growing indoors. It's been a popular indoor plant since the Victorian era. That is the parlor palm. This one is the Metallica palm or the mini fishtail palm, Camadorea Metallica. Now you notice each one of these leaves is very glossy and it doesn't split into kind of the ferny palmate or pinnate leaf that you're used to. The adaptation of that gloss is so that it can survive in very low light. So thanks for joining me for Flora and Fauna Fridays. Tune in all our social media channels every Friday in April to learn more about our awesome plants. See you next time.